Norm and Al have continued to provide entertainment for the Peoria Chiefs and their fans, but not many people know about the true story behind their birth. They were born here, in a cornfield outside Bloomington, Illinois, yet they did not know each other. They were complete strangers. Through some hard times there in the cornfield, and some peaceful times. Not long after they were born, Norman L's mother shipped them off to a grocery store. So you guys were at the grocery store and you saw Norm. Why did you decide to pick that year of corn out of all the rest of them? Well, I would say I'd be the first one to spot them out. And um, I don't know, it just those just cute little beady eyes just looking up at me. I don't know, we just, I, I think we have like an instant connection. What do you think? Right. I just got a lot of positive energy from watching the corn. It, it probably had a big part and they had huge eyes on them, so. They just looked, he just, you know, Norm just, well, we named him Norm. I know, the perfect name. Norm looked like he wanted to be part of the family. I don't want to eat it though. Can we keep it? Please, please, please. Now, usually when people buy corn, they eat them. Why did you decide not to eat this specific ear of corn? We we just couldn't do it for some reason. I mean, we I mean, definitely we tried. tried. We tried. We tried, and we just we just we couldn't do it. Just too cute. Couldn't do it. I think maybe it had a big part of how energetic he always was and how he just brought life. You know, he always played the same songs around the house and everything and, you know, it was just great. And again, it had giant eyes, so, I mean, could and you really eat corn with eyes on them? I mean, they always look at you. Yeah, it was great. <laughs> Are you proud of your adopted son that he is part of the Chiefs organization? Couldn't be more proud. I think it's great. You know, he gets to be with tons of people all the time, which he loves. He gets to dance, which, you know, Jeff here taught him a couple dance moves, which is pretty nice. It's, it's a little bit sad, though. He's not around the house anymore. And how many people can say, my son, a piece of corn, is now entertainment for the Peter Chiefs? It's, not a lot of people. It's pretty Not great. a lot of people. It's really great. I love him. One day you went to the grocery store and you were hungry for corn and you picked Aloe and it changed your life. Explain why or how it changed your life. Oh, well, have you, have you seen now? Um, I, I knew from the moment that I saw him there was something special about him. I just walked over to get a closer look and once I put my hands around him, I knew that this is some very special corn. I was taking him home with me. Oh, you're coming home with me. See, when people buy corn, they usually eat the corn that they buy. Why did it take you, I mean, you never ate it. Why did you stop and refrain from eating the corn that you bought? Well, like, funny story, actually. Uh, I was, I uh, had the rest of the meal together. I actually had the water boiling. I was getting ready to go ahead and plop them in. And very faintly from the corner of the kitchen, I could hear some crying. And I went over and I was there. I guess, I guess he knew what was going on, and we sat down, and we had a very special moment from then on. Uh, I knew that I couldn't eat this corn. And thank goodness you didn't, because thank goodness. if you did, we wouldn't have the great entertainment of Norman Al at Peoria Cheese Games. How proud are you of Al to uh, be able to entertain fans and, and change people's lives, make a difference? Oh, I'm tremendously, tremendously proud of Al. Um, when he was back when he was real little, we used to I used to get him all dressed up, and it's kind of a little game we'd play. He'd uh, be dancing in his clothes, and I'd be trying to get him on him, and he'd dance him off. And I think what what they have him do with the Chiefs is perfect for him. He fits right in. I think that's his forte. He loves dancing. It's in his blood. Four kernels in my team.
All that matters is that Norm and Al are here together now, and they will continue to be the two corniest fans in all of baseball.